I will start with our host, uh, the ambassador of uh, the United Arab Emirates to uh, Turkey since 2016, His Excellency Khalifa Shaheen al Marhar. Um, he's a veteran a diplomat. He was posted to Syria and Iran prior to that, but had also postings um, in Japan and the United Nations. You have the floor, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I would just start with uh, thanking the organizers of this uh, uh, conference. Uh, and uh, as we uh, touch on the Middle East and uh, external powers, I, I, I would say that Middle East has been always of a strategic importance to the world powers and to international community as a whole. Because of its strategic uh, location, because of its resources of energy, and because of that uh, state of security and, and the stability of the region has its effects on the region as a whole and on the international community as well. And with the engagement of world powers in, in, in the Middle East it comes also there's rivalries and there's competition among world powers. But also we have to acknowledge that there is uh, a legitimate concerns and the legitimate interest of world powers in the development in the Middle East of the so far as the security and stability of the Middle East is concerned. Now, with that concern, we think there is a positive uh, contribution world power can contribute to the future of the region. The Middle East and in our region especially during the last decade or so, has been going through a lot of crises, conflicts that uh, took a lot of efforts and resources and uh, shook the foundation of the national state institutions. Now, there is a consensus among Arab countries that any malicious intervention in the crises in the, in the region only exacerbate these crises, exacerbate the conflicts, and uh, uh, make a very complex situation more, more complex. So, what we think that needed is to promote stability, to promote security, and to promote peaceful uh, uh, resolution of conflicts. And that's what we in MRS are focusing on. We have been always promoting stability in the region, working for the stability in the region, and promoting a stability that could lead to prosperity and to preserve uh, security, a long-term security of the region. And in that quest, we have uh, promoted uh, uh, building bridges with, with, the, with the, uh, all the countries and all the uh, uh, nations in the, in the region. And we have working for the prosperity, settlement, peaceful settlement of conflicts for prosperity and for long-term stability and security for the region. Now, we think that what needed from the uh, 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 world powers as, as well as the regional powers, first to in, refrain from interfering into the internal affairs 
of the Arab countries, will assist into finding peaceful solutions to the conflicts and also assist into building, rebuilding the, the, the region. So, with all the challenges we are facing in the region, there is more connection is needed to connect with all, all the countries, to uh, have dialogue and to promote peace and security and uh, 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 peaceful settlement of, of, of conflicts. Now, Abraham Accords is one example of that. And uh, here I have to emphasize that uh, Abraham Accords, we, when we uh, uh, signed the Abraham Peace Accords, we giving an example how to solve the problems, how to solve conflicts, rather than only managing the conflicts. And to work into a warm peace that reflects tangible results and give tangible results to the population and that the, the region would see the benefits of peace. The other issue that we have been emphasizing that the Abraham Accords is not directed against any third party in the, in the region. And with our emphasis on, on, on uh, uh, connections, on dialogue, on looking into the ways and means to mitigate the uh, 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 adverse effects of, inter of external intervention in the in internal affairs of, of, of the Arab countries, and into connecting and creating uh, more space of cooperation, more space of promoting economic and, and, and investment and the well-being and the prosperity for all the regions, that would affect positively the quest for solving the conflicts and problems in the region. So I would stop here and then uh, Thank you, continue sir. the over. So dialogue, uh, search for prosperity, um, and engagement. Um, thank you. Um, and the UAE has been doing all of that. Mm -hmm.